here we are in Washington, D.C., um, the future place of our future president, Mr. Chuck Baldwin. You know? Thank you very much. The crowd loves you. <laughs> Great to be here. Anyway, I want to, you know, to start off with, for our viewers and stuff, and for the audience, anybody who may see this, why why are you here? Why is it important that you're here, and, and what can they do to help you? Well, I supported Ron Paul whenever he was running in the primary, and uh, so I'm very much in favor of the message that he presents. And I'm here to lend my voice to that message. I mean, we're going to keep that message of freedom and independence and liberty. We want to keep it going in 2008. And if people like uh, you and me don't do it, I'm afraid that the two major parties as a whole are not going to continue that message. So I'm just here as a Constitution Party presidential candidate to let people know that they do have an alternative. If they're not happy with John McCain and Barack Obama, they want somebody that's going to present the message of truth and liberty. Chuck Baldwin in 2008 is the guy to do it. That's the way to go. And the other thing that these people should know is not, not only that, but we're here to, you know, support the republic, okay, to restore the republic and to make sure that the people out there, you listeners, understand that the Bill of Rights is important, okay? The Constitution was written to what? To control the people back here, not to control you, okay? Once again, the Constitution, why was it written? If we bother to read it? Yep, exactly right. The, the, the prohibitions of the Constitution were on the government, not the people. Uh, Congress shall make no law respecting and establishment of religion, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a document of liberty for the people of this country. Unfortunately, I think what we have among the two parties mostly is, is a mindset that it's a nation of the government, by the government, for the government, instead of of the people, by the people, for the people. It's very important. I really personally believe that we are hanging by a thread. Uh, that is our freedoms, our liberties, hanging by a thread. And if we do not stand up now for the freedoms and the liberties that our Constitution protects, we will not have them very much longer. So this is more about wave, this is more than just about waving the flag. This is more about just you know the left and right paradigm of gee Republican or Democrat. I try to I try to introduce myself to people, and when I ask them, I say, well, if you tell me you're choosing the lesser of two evils, I'll ask my viewers. I'll say, viewers. Was it your mother or was it their father who told them that choosing evil was a good thing? Yeah, I mean, you know? yeah, it's not. And really, it's not about Democrat or Republican or liberal or conservative. It's really not. It's, we're beyond that. The real battle today is either you're an American or you're a globalist. Exactly. Yes, it's about being an American. I yeah. thank you. Yeah, and and, and yeah, I'm I am the I'm the candidate, and Ron Paul was a the candidate. They really believe in America first. Uh, we're, we're not world citizens. We're citizens of the United States uh, in our respective states. And we need to understand that we are uh, here fighting for the liberty and the independence of our country. Our politicians in Washington, for the most part, are, are treating us as, as if some, we're some kind of an international entity. And, uh, you know, we just celebrated Independence Day where we broke free from England and, and Europe. And now then, with, with the North American Union on the, on the horizon and the NAFTA superhighway and all these things coming down the pike, we're on the verge of trading our country back into the very entity that we separated from 200 years that ago. That is so crystal clear. You folks should really consider this. You should do some research on yourself. You're right. When you find out the money and the power behind yep. these moves now, it's the same money and power. It's the same royal families. Yep. It's the same globalist bankers who are trying to sell out your children's freedom and your children's future. Okay? Yes, we when I say we, we the people that came here today, at least some awake Americans who turn around and try to, you know, awaken the populace. You viewers out there, whether it's on the web or whether it's in, you know, in the wonderful community of Sharon, it's time for us to wake up and actually find great, what I want to call statesmen, not politicians, who understand that it's a government by the people, for the people. Not like down the street we've got the Federal Reserve that was created by the bankers for the bankers. Tell us how we can help you at least defend and support the Constitution and the Constitution Party. Thank you very much. I, go to my website, baldwin08.com, and you'll read what we're all about. If you want to help us, there's a, there's a place there you can help, uh, either through uh, contributions or for voluntary support. Our campaign is, is growing exponentially. We believe there's a lot of people throughout the country that are totally fed up with the two major parties and the candidates they put up this year. They know something's wrong. They know that if we don't get back to constitutional government, that it's going to be over for their kids and their grandkids. And so we're just trying to send that message. And anybody that believes in liberty and freedom and independence and constitutional government, we need your help. So anything they can do, Baldwin08.com. There's a toll-free number they can call, 888-USA. 1911. Baldwin. Dar
Baldwin. Baldwin08.com. And the phone number? 888-USA-1911. Excellent. Yeah. Charles, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate your, the time and the opportunity. Yes, sir. Glad to do it. It's thank good to see you.